Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest 7. In the last episode, we probably, uh, went around, got some more tiny metals, got myself a Sage's Stone, and used the Bliss Rock here at this mysterious Fane area. And, uh, now we're gonna go ahead and use the Bliss Rock again. If I can find the damn thing. Here we go. Look at that wonderful, beautiful light. Hey, hey. I think it's telling us to, uh, to go over there, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that is pretty amazing. Although we've seen a lot of amazing things in this journey, so it's not that amazing. <laughs> yeah, so these uh, soldiers of God actually live up here. Melvin feels right at home. But yeah, this is the uh, this is one of the uh, one of the fanes up here. There's like four different fanes, I think, or four different uh, sky fanes that we have to unlock. Yeah, what do you mean by too late? Why don't you explain? Yeah. It's definitely not the work of, uh, of ground dwellers, that's for sure. Two of the fiends fell to the lands below. Oh, man. Yeah, it could be. I mean, it could be that we ran across a couple of those that were supposed to be, or were in the sky at one time. And we get save. And I will. Because that's a damn good idea. Uh, right here's good. Placed a bliss rock in each of the four small fanes, infusing them with the power to ascend into the sky. But the demon lord's power was great, and God could not risk putting all of his power into the bliss rocks. Eventually, two of the fanes fell from their lofty heights. Not only this fane and the fane that contains the pedestal of resurrection continues to be sustained by the power of the bliss rock. Okay. So that's probably why we couldn't revive God earlier, huh? When, uh... And fucking Layla and uh, and Johan or whatever that fucking guy's name is uh, tried doing that shit. That's why it didn't happen. Or at least that's what I think. What? We're not out of time. What the hell are you talking about, Gabo? Ooh, look at this. More treasure on this floor. Look at that, we get a nice little healing point. And yeah, these, uh, these fucking, uh, scary looking statue guys over here with the, with the shining lights, they're actually powered by bliss rocks. Hello. 
Yes, lots and lots are better than two. Apparently so. Apparently they need to be together, or they need to uh, feed their energy, or they need to siphon their energy through each other to uh, to sustain themselves, I guess. I don't know. Generation 31 through the current gener- Okay. Journals of Soldiers of God. And hey, there's a dancer lady up here. This is the sacred costume that we dancers wore at the Festival of God. And we get the innocent dress. I believe I've already sold one of these. Or wait, no. No, the innocent dress... Oh, no, I remember what this was. No, I didn't sell one of these. This is the same... Uh, outfit that Layla wore. Yeah, only dancers are permitted to wear it. Yeah. None of us are dancers. At least, no. Except for Ira, maybe. Officially, I mean, all of us technically could be dancers. I mean, I have Veta's dancer, a level 5 dancer. Apparently God was defeated by the Demon Lord, really? Is that why the world was sealed? Why didn't the Demon Lord just destroy the world? I don't know, I don't understand these, uh... These fucking people, man. They don't make sense to me. Anyway, I think we're supposed to... Jump on a, another one of these uh, fucking pedestals somewhere, aren't we? Okay, there's one over there. Okay, I haven't been to this one yet. This is the pedestal of resurrection. And here we have a pedestal. With a whole bunch of uh, mysterious shards that we're going to put in here. And that apparently is the crest of God. That we're looking at here in this pedestal. Getting transported to the past. How about that? How about that? Where are we? Where in the fuck are we? Oh my goodness, we're getting attacked. We must be in the Falrod region if we're fighting clock mechs and goopies. Dead, 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 and dead! Yay! I don't know if these enemies provide levels. Like class levels, I'm assuming that they, they might not, because the enemies here are looking pretty weak. Like, very weak, and oh, look at that, I tamed a baby goil. Yeah, these monsters sure do love me, huh? What the fuck is up with the encounter rate? Right? You know, this is getting ridiculous, man. I need to use, uh, step guard, or not step guard, but, uh, fucking repel, man, because these guys are definitely weaker than my party. Like, without a question. I mean, most enemies so far, I mean, even the ones that... Even the ones that count are pretty weak too. I mean, I could murder the fuck out of them, but. Yeah, man. No more monsters, please. 
just want to take a look around. Ooh, look at that, a broken bridge. But hey, look at this. We're in the... This is the same place, except it's, uh... It's in the past, and nothing's broken. No. Hmm. Yeah. While we're still alive, the war is not over. Yeah, apparently. Hello? The Bliss Rock, yes. Yes, this is the legendary hero Melvin. So when all four fanes are in the sky, life will begin anew again. Sounds enticing, huh? We're gonna resurrect a sky wizard to take on another sky wizard. Said that. Said that. Majestic crest is carved onto the stone monument. Great. The crest of God. Right? Alright, so let's do this shit again. I'm assuming that. Oh no, it's gonna take us down in the fucking water again. Okay, so here we are in the water again. And, uh, yeah, it's far back in the past, and it's absolutely beautiful and amazing, and there's no more treasure on this floor. What the fuck? They took out the treasure chests. Keep the weaker ones away at least. And we have... None of these are new. None of these guys are new.
that doesn't make any sense, man. We opened that chest up in the present. So why is it that here in the past we can't open it? Right? It should still be here in the past. I guess they weren't really thinking clearly when they made this sequence of the game. Because, yeah, it makes sense to get treasures in the past, you know, places you haven't been before, and then explore them in the present and get them again. Well, actually, no, that makes even less sense. It's backwards! Yeah, because the chests get restocked in the present time, and then, in this case, the chest didn't get restocked in the pet. Whatever, man. What the fuck ever, it's a video game. Holy shit. Why am I reading too much into this? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense, right? I mean, it's completely opposite of what it should be. Looks a little bit different. Nail man. guy that was there before is not there now. Yeah, it's ass backwards. The stuff from the in the pat in the present gets restocked inexplicably and the stuff in the past gets inexplicably plundered from the present. Found the altar. Hooray! Yeah, that's what he told us to do. But first, there's no treasure on this floor. Isn't this exciting? Look at that. We did it! Hooray! Now, actually, what the fuck? Couldn't we just leave this area here, or is this... Oh, yeah, we can. But do we want to? Okay. Can't use return, so yeah, I guess we have to go back the way we came. I don't know if there's like a faster way to do this or wait, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Never mind. Uh, I guess we do have to go back. Oops, wrong spell. Yeah, um. This is one thing I forgot to mention, uh, in between, not the, not this episode and the last episode, but the one before that, uh, in between them, I, uh, 
Ooh, there's people here. But I, I did feed all my seeds to um, char characters that I wanted to feed seeds to. Like I gave most of the, like the strength seeds I gave to Ira, defense seeds, HP seeds, and uh, and uh, and that's pretty much it. I gave to Vet, and then intelligence and agility seeds I gave to Melvin, and then Gabo. Well, I didn't give really anything for him. I don't think giving seeds to Gabo is honestly a good idea unless you're. Um, Planning on trading and training him as like a physical class or a magical class. Me, I'm making him more of a utility character, so I don't really care about his stats so much. So, yeah, I don't plan on mastering all the jobs with all the characters. I'm not gonna do it. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Apparently I am. Happened? What do you mean? What could have happened? They went in the sky. Duh! Didn't you see anything that was going on? Weak. To level 28. Groovy. Vet learned outside. That's his last natural skill that he learns. So now if I don't have access to Melvin or Mirabelle, then uh, for whatever reason, which is never going to happen, I can use outside with Vet if I want to. So we did it. We uh, restored everything to its former uh, greatness. So where are we going here? What is this? Ooh! This looks like this looks like some sort of uh, some shot or something, huh? Yeah, all the fiends are here. Yeah, what could po what what could possibly be missing? Smell different. Like how different? So we can buy weapons here. You can buy a zombie sword, which does 50% more damage to zombies. Uh, you got a fucking dragon claw here, which I guess is okay. I'm not gonna bother with it though. And then you have a thunder sword, which I believe will cast the lightning ability when you use it as an item in battle. Um. I don't think I need it, so I'm not going to bother with it, but there you go. Armor! Do you got any good armor yet? Okay, we can buy a water flying cloth here, which I think I actually am going to do. You can buy flame armor, which isn't worth it. Princess robe, which isn't worth it. Expel shields, uh, which aren't worth it. I guess if you want to use the shield to use the expel... It's well to knock enemies out of battle, you know, that way you get less experience, you can do that. Um, I 
I'm not gonna bother with that. Okay, and then we have a heal shield. Now, the interesting thing about this this shield right here is you use it as an item in battle and will cast the heal more spell. Other than that, it really is not very good of a shield. I mean, these are good to, to buy in case you need uh, characters that uh, can cast free heal mores that are non-reflectable. Or actually, I'm not even sure if if heal more is uh, reflectable when using an item form, like with a heal shield or, or bless staff. But yeah, this heal shield, I don't need it. I got a bless staff. I don't, I don't need it. And as far as, uh, well, I'm thinking maybe I need a water flying cloth, but maybe I'll wait till later to get that. I can, I think I can buy one in uh, in coastal, anyways. So maybe I'll just wait to get that. I might even want to get another Metal King Helm in case, uh, in case somebody runs off with theirs and doesn't put it in the bag, you know, and just puts the other stuff that they have in their bag. Uh, let's see, where can we go? Well, there should be one more that I haven't been to yet. Uh, and this is the one, apparently. <laughs> that is a sum total of accumulated knowledge in my That is pretty sad. You get on it and it flies. Yeah, that's that's great. That's all that kid knows. These people used to have the powers of God, and now they don't. And now only Melvin has the powers of God, apparently, I guess. I don't know. Ooh, there's a, like a big meeting going on up here. We gotta pray. Pray for the big fat sky wizard. There's other f there's other uh, powers that the Bliss Rocks have. So yeah, eventually we're gonna have to go after the Demon Lord for sure. We're gonna have to beat him up for uh, doing what he did to God, right? Yeah, apparently, uh, I've been chosen. Some kind of, uh, some kind of, uh, I don't know, destiny or something, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, let's talk to this, uh, priest guy. that it looks like some sort of some sort of I have no idea what the hell it is that is the goofiest thing I've ever seen in my life if that's supposed to be a flying machine I, I don't really know what to say a little bit better than the balloon in Dragon Quest 4 but I don't know man Actually, maybe this is worse than the balloon. At least the balloon is actually, you know, it sort of makes sense in a way. This, on the other hand, I don't know. Can we, yeah, let's jump on the thing. Fed and his friends obtain the sky stone, uh, opening up the vast expanses of the sky before them. All right, so we obtain the sky stone. Hooray. And now, we can go anywhere we want in the world with the Flying Stone, or the Sky Stone, and uh, yeah, I, got, I guess you gotta hit the X button to uh, look below you, 
Yes, it's impossible to see anything without any precision. Apparently, you can land uh, on coral or something like that. I, I, yeah, you gotta land with the, uh, the circle button. And, hey, look at that! It's going faster now. Interesting. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna end the video right here, and in the next episode, we're gonna use the Sky Stone to explore the world. This is Veteran 0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.